It's important to always understand items are always assessed as a set. Hey guys, Twan from Jewelry Tax here. Today we'll be looking at the top five depreciable assets you can claim in your bedroom. We'll be talking about the approximate costs of these assets, as well as the effective life, a length of which the period the ATO recognizes these items will last, and it ultimately determines how fast the items will depreciate. Of course, the shorter the effective life, the better the depreciation. Number five, blinds. Traditional or electric shutters have the same effective life, however, we get more value to claim depreciation out of a higher cost asset, which is the electrical shutter system. On the other hand, a lower cost asset, which is one that costs less than $1,000, will be able to get you into a low value pool, which means that they can aggressively depreciate the set of blinds, for example. Assets costing less than $1,000 depreciated almost 19% in the first year and 40% in consecutive years. It's important to always understand items are always assessed as a set. That means a set of blinds are calculated as a group. So one window blind for the bedroom valued at $100 needs to be grouped with all blinds inside the home to form the total of $1,000. Then apply depreciation rates thereafter. We can't write off each blind at $100 each. Number four, air conditioning units. Air conditioning units can be split systems with power up to 20 kilowatts and depreciable up to 10 years or installed for two and a half thousand dollars. There's also the ducted air conditioning system having an effective life of 15 years and are a little bit pricier at $8,000. Number three, furniture and furnishings. These can include beds, bedside tables, dresser tables, lamps. These are all depreciable in nature and can aggressively be depreciated due to its effective life being only five years which are typically found in furnished properties such as short stay accommodation, like Airbnb rentals. It's worth noting a set of bedside tables need to be grouped and can only be low value pulled where the set of bedside tables is less than $1,000. If it is less than $1,000, these can be low value pulled similar to the cheaper blinds as mentioned earlier. For any assets like a set of lamps that might be valued at less than $300, we can immediately write them off as per the legibility set out by the ATO under the immediate write off ruling. Number two. A freestanding tall boy. A freestanding tall boy is depreciable over 13 years and four months, as these are classed as freestanding furniture. Compared to against a built-in wardrobe, which is depreciable over 40 years as it forms part of the building structure, it is much better value given that it is freestanding in nature. And number one, floor coverings. Most often found in living spaces will be carpets similar to this bedroom. These have an effective life of eight years and can be purchased from $35 per square meter installed. The middle pick when it comes to depreciable value are carpets when compared against vinyl flooring and floating timber floor. Besides its insulating benefits, it also has the shortest effective life, which provided from the ATO, hence will depreciate it faster than any other type of flooring. So these form the five most common depreciable assets inside a bedroom. These are some of the things we look for when surveying a residential investment property. If you want to learn more about how much depreciation you can claim for your property, visit us at durotax.com.au. Thanks for watching and see you next time.